Bison antiquis, sometimes called the ancient bison, was the most common large herbivore of the North American continent for over 10,000 years, and is a direct ancestor of the living American bison. During the later Pleistocene epoch, between 240,000 and 220,000 years ago, stepwise and migrated from Siberia into Alaska. This species inhabited parts of North and North America throughout the remainder of the Pleistocene. In mid-continent North America, however, B. Priscus was replaced by the long-horned bison, B. latifrons, and somewhat later by B. antiquis. The larger B. latifrons appears to have died out by about 20,000 years ago. In contrast, B. antiquis became increasingly abundant in parts of mid-continent North America from 18,000 ya until about 10,000 ya, after which the species appears to have given rise to the living species B. bison. B. antiquis is the most commonly recovered large mammalian herbivore from the Librea tar pits. B. antiqui was taller, had larger bones and horns, and was 15 to 25 percent larger overall than modern bison. It reached up to 2.27 meters tall, 4.6 meters long, and a weight of 1,588 kilograms. From tip to tip, the horns of B. antiquis measured about 3 feet. One of the best educational sites to view in situ semi-fossilized skeletons of over 500 individuals of B. antiquis is the Hudson Meng archaeological site operated by the U. S. Forest Service, 18 miles northwest of Crawford, Nebraska. A number of Paleo-Indian spear and projectile points have been recovered in conjunction with the animal skeletons at the site, which is dated around 9,700 to 10,000 years ago. The reason for the die-off of so many animals in one compact location is still in conjecture. Some professionals argue it was the result of a very successful Paleo-Indian hunt, while others feel the herd died as a result of some dramatic natural event to be later scavenged by humans. Individuals of B. antiquis of both sexes and a typical range of ages have been found at the site. According to internationally renowned archaeologist George Carfrison, B. occidentalis and B. antiquis, an extinct subspecies of the smaller present-day bison, survived the late Pleistocene period, between about 12,000 and 11,000 years ago, dominated by glaciation, when many other megafauna became extinct. Plains and Rocky Mountain First Nations peoples depended on these bison as the major food source. Frizen noted that the oldest, well-documented bison kills by pedestrian human hunters in North America date to about 11,000 years ago.